Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. Today we're going to tie Ian's Brass Ass. This is a midge pattern. The hook I'm going to use is a 2457BL. That's a barbless. This is a size 18. And this is from Green Caddis Outfitters, greencaddis.com. This hook has a slightly offset shank. That's just to aid in hooking. Going to start with an extra fine copper wire. I'm going to start that around the bend. And we're going to wrap this forward. Make sure you get some nice tight wraps on there. And you can push them together. There we go. And you want to bring that up about two thirds the length of the hook. Now before I break this extra fine copper wire off, I'm going to use black 70 denier thread I'm going to start my thread. I'm going to bring it back. Break off the excess. Now I'm going to just secure the front end. Back end isn't going to be any problem. Then we could break that off. We could take the back end and helicopter that. break that off. Now we're going to build up a thorax on this with just black thread. Now I'm going to use this is Hedron 3D tinsel. We have orange on one side and silver on the other side. And Ian sent me this. I'm going to tie this in on the side and secure that. I'm going to take another and I'm going to secure it on the opposite side. And I'm just going to make sure I have all of the silver covered over here. We're going to take that tinsel, we're going to bring that forward and start out a little bit high. and let that thread pull it. Put a couple of wraps on there. I'm going to take the tinsel, there we go, and move that right into place. Take the one on my side, and I'm going to start that one out a little bit low, and the thread will carry it more towards the top. Let's give that two wraps. And then we can pull them back and put a few wraps right in front to lock them in. And now we'll just remove the excess. Cut that down nice and low. Get a hold of it. Give it a couple of wraps to finish the head. Cover over any silver that's left. We'll take our whip finish. Give that three turn whip finish. And now I'm going to use my Deer Creek Diamond Fine UV Resin, 100% tack free. 
going to put some on there. Kind of want it to just drip out itself so I don't get an air bubble. Like that, you can see there's a large air bubble in there. Let that drip around. And take that right around. Go ahead and remove any extra. Keep that bubble more on the top. Gonna leave it hang over, and you can see that little bit is dripping towards the top. I'd rather that. Just kind of rotate that there a little bit to get it evened out, and then hit it with the light. And in a couple of seconds, it's cured. I do see I got one little air bubble in there, but that's okay. And here we have Ian's Brass Ass Midge Fly. Hope that you learned something with this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, I thank you very much for watching my videos.